Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tina Lime. And today I'm just gonna do a regular vlog. Um, I got off today, so it's like a come with me, do a little errands. I don't got too much to do today, but I'll come over here and I'll rep for y'all, rep to y'all for a little while. So Right now, I feel like in my life, I am trying to ward off negativity. Oh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to link my social media links in the description box. So you guys can follow me on Instagram or TikTok. But yeah. So getting back to my video, this is going to be a regular vlog, just going with me throughout my day. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all about like separating yourself from like negativity. Right now, I'm in a place where I'm transitioning jobs. I left one to line because I felt like she wasn't paying me fair. I better not get copyrighted for this darn song that's playing in the background. But anyway, I left one job because I felt like she wasn't paying me fairly. So I'm in the process of finding another salon. I found another salon. I accepted their offer. Um, and I start in two days. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I have so much going on in my mind right now in terms of like content that i want to post um editing the content that's already in my phone that i never posted and getting that out to you guys and also um where i want to take my career as far as like nails and things and, and i want to do bigger things which i'm not going to speak too much about it right now because i'm praying on it and you know can't speak about specifically what you want to do all the time but there are bigger things and bigger projects that i would love to work on i would love to do so it's like i'm in a space where i'm kind of like in isolation like i'm kind of just not really talking to nobody not really responding to too many people text messages like i don't want to hear nobody's negative news i don't really want to talk about the news and the things that i have brewing in my head Cause I don't want to jinx myself and it's just like I kind of just been like staying to myself and so like I think that doing this is like super it is really important to kind of tune everybody else out but I mean this is this is the space that I'm that I'm in right now this is the head space that I'm in right now my bad y'all I'm trying to do a u-turn in this car is behind me and okay so that's kind of like the headspace I'm in right now. I did get a new job. Hallelujah. Got accepted to a new job, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Super happy about that. I start in two days, but I'm also like kind of on some stuff like. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting distracted because I'm driving. I'm trying to park. And it's every time I turn around, it's a freaking car behind me, like on my ass. <sighs> okay near my part so yeah i maybe i've rambled a little bit sorry i was distracted probably did ramble a little bit but yeah so i'm just trying to like i've just been like in a mindset of just like being by myself and just kind of focusing on myself i don't want nobody's negative energy or them talking about them complaining about something that's going on in their life to affect my mood and my energy i'm actually up right now in energy level i'm actually up like I've been super productive lately, super busy. I got a nail client today, which I will be recording. And um, yeah, I'm actually super up right now. So right now I'm about to go into the bank. I need to put some money in my account so I can pay a little. Because I'm telling you, these city of Philadelphia parking tickets 
And y'all can count your days, okay? PPA and all that. Count your fucking days, okay? And they keep getting me on my block. I keep forgetting that on my block is um on my block is um street cleaning every Tuesday from nine to eleven. I I be forgetting, child. I be in the bed. I be sleep. But they keep getting me with these tickets, and then they got me on a red light camera on the boulevard. And if you're from Philly, you know them red light cameras. And the speed tickets is a hundred dollars. This little street cleaning ticket is only thirty. But I got two street cleaning tickets, one today, one two weeks ago. I'm, I'm paying the one for two weeks ago. And I got a red light camera ticket that I got to I gotta pay. So, I'm telling you, I don't want to give all my little coins to Philadelphia. But they really can count their days. All right, y'all, I am walking to the bank. So that I can make a deposit and I can pay my tickets so I can have my car <laughs> and I won't get booted. Okay, so I just left the bank, paid my ticket, deposited money, then paid my ticket, and I had to pay my storage fee as well, so pay for my storage fee, and now I am headed to the nail supply store. <laughs> That's my favorite store ever because period. So going to the nail supply store, I gotta get a few things. I gotta get some nail glue for my client tonight. And I don't know, every time I go in here, I gotta buy a polish or something. So I'll probably just buy some polish or something. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see when I get there. supply store it's actually in the Asian supermarket I think I need to get some no glue for sure and I need to get like an acrylic like a powder and monomer tray so here we go need to get some nail tips too but I don't think they have the clear ones that I need oh they actually do I don't like their tips because their tips are too too rounded They actually do like what I'm looking for. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, empty bottles. Base coat. Top coat. Cuticle lover. This is what I need. Fifteen dollars, but that's true. Jesus, fifteen dollars, this whole thing. This is all the pedicure stuff, guys. I'm going to get me. One of these little petty things, spa pedicures for myself. <laughs> get myself a pedicure. Either tonight or tomorrow. Which one should I get? 
Okay, I had to mute out this part because the store was playing music and I was not trying to get flagged down for copyright. But OMG, look at these colors! Oh my gosh, so many colors, so pretty. Uh, so I love the nail supply store. Okay guys, so I kept it real cute and simple in the nail supply store because me i could go off okay i could go off in the store and i could spend all this money i only spent 11 dollars, which is really good um so i basically got i came i came and got what i was supposed to get okay so i got a little jar for my powder i already got a monomer jar in the house i was gonna get the the monomer powder jars that are in a set like the little silver thing that's in a set of three, but they wanted $15 for that, and I was not paying $15. Now I looked on Amazon. Amazon wanted for $12 to $15 too. I was not trying to pay that, so I got me a little $4 jar for my powder. Like I said, I already got a jar for my monomer, so it is what it is. And I also got some glue, because the girls need glue. And then I also got myself um, a little petty thing, because I'm giving myself a pedicure. I have not given myself a pedicure in like a month and it's time to change my polish so I also was doing some browsing in there I try not to take too long because I told my client I would be there by six and I still got to go home and um pack up everything and get everything ready um but I'm also getting into cover powders and color acrylic and um especially like the chisel brand for the art like the neon colors for the art to do like 3d flowers and also just like cover colors like your work looks so much better when you do like a cover color on a nail like a nude or a pink nude or something like that as opposed to polish sorry my video got cut off as opposed to polishing it that color with the gel polish um, because I do have uh, natural gel polishes that that I could put over the acrylic no oh god I hope I don't get a ticket this is a red light intersection Jesus I probably got another damn ticket god damn anyways so I hope I don't but I, I probably did get another ticket I'm pissed that's a hundred dollar ticket another ticket money I don't have but anyways so yeah so I'm getting into cover powders i know i'm late to the game should have been into it it's a little frustrating working with color powders uh, with cover powders color powders and cover powders it is a little frustrating because if the client wants to change it you have to start all over so i mean normally and what you should do if you're a nail tech and you're using like cover powders or color acrylic whatever start off with a clear base and then go over it with the color or the cover color whatever and that way if your client wants to change then you have to you got to drill it all off basically back down to the clear and then you can lay new acrylic that's kind of annoying and that's kind of like a reason why i never really wanted to get into like color powders and things like that um but i guess for the inconvenience that can be an upcharge like hey look you getting this are you going to stick with this for a while you're going to stick with this new color this new base for a while but it also it makes my work easier because if you know i'm doing a new base and they're getting designs but they always like a new base then all i gotta do is refill it and do what i do and all i gotta do is just instead of polishing it all I gotta do is do the design, put the top coat on it, and go about my day. So it does make it easier in that aspect, as opposed to painting like a new, a new gel polish on it or a pink gel polish. Like uh, painting a base on here, it's easier to just do the acrylic base um, for certain designs, certain looks. So yes, that's kind of sort of what I want to get into. So I'm gonna start buying some like nudes and pinks and some color acrylics especially the chisel brand the neon colors because i was playing around with the um 3d flowers a couple weeks ago and so i kind of want to really get into this so i can offer that to my clients okay alrighty. so now just left the um nail supply store so now i'm going to go home 
I gotta clean my tools, make sure my stuff is sanitized and disinfected, and pack all my stuff, and then I am headed to Jersey so that I can meet my six o'clock client. cleaning my stuff loading my car up i was just sitting in my car right my car was on i was about to pull off i was typing in the gps the address or whatever um just sitting in my car and this car accident just happened and when i tell you yo like i'm from north philly so i'm from the hood like i'm straight from the hood so when you see one person start running your ass get out and run like you run you don't sit around you don't ask no questions you get out and run but so I'm in a car and I heard er, boom. It was I see that it's a car accident or whatever. One car jumped the curve. The other one was it got twisted in the middle of the street. And I see all these Muslim girls, one holding her baby, and they just running. This one bull, he must have hit his head. He holding his head. Two two guys actually holding his head. They running. I'm like, what the heck is going on? The cops pull up instantly. I, they probably just so happen to be riding on the block anyway. The cops pull up instantly and it's just it's it's just crazy like a whole car accident and like they just got out the car and just started dicking it like they just started running and obviously when people do that they do that when they don't have any car insurance and they're not trying to get in trouble for you know what happened but it's <laughs> it's just crazy it's crazy how life happened like I gotta say, like, I gotta really thank God because in a split second, that really couldn't be been me. Like, I literally got in my car, was sitting in my car. I just so happened to be in my phone. And oh my goodness, near the ambulance. Oh, I got hair in my face. Near the ambulance is coming up the street. So somebody really got hurt. It was really a bad accident. But I just so happened to be in my car, just idle, just sitting there. My car was on. I was about to pull off. I'm like, all right, cool. Typing in the address, looking at text messages or whatever, like just kind of shooting the breeze for a second until I pull off. I'm hot, just getting situated in the car. And that accident happened, like literally in two minutes, that could have been me. So I'm definitely grateful that it wasn't me. And it would have sucked that if my car would have gotten messed up and all of them hold till out the car, like that would have been crazy. Um, and I just thank God for this covering, but sheesh, that rattled me. like it it really rattled me like the whole neighborhood came outside i was like what the heck it's crazy it's crazy in north okay it's crazy in north philly but anyway back to my vlogging so i'm in the car i'm on my way to jersey i am late because of the accident and it kind of was a distraction and i you know i had to get out the car and see what was going on but um i'm on my way to jersey I'm going to do my cousin's girlfriend nails. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to do a whole blog there. Actually, it's going to probably be a nail tutorial. So I'm going to do a nail tutorial there. And that's going to be a separate video. And yeah. So I will catch y'all when I get there. Because I got to drive. Peace. Here are a picture of my client's nails. They came out so cute, so perfect, and she loved them. Um, I will have the tutorial up shortly so you guys can check out how I did this set. So it is 10.50 at night, and I am just getting back to the city. I'm actually about to get something to eat. This has been an adventure of a day, I must say. I'm so glad I decided to vlog today. Um, but um. Yeah, so I got two blogs out of today. I got this. I should do this weekly. So I got a, a, a weekly blog out of it. And I also got um, a tutorial out of it because I took my client today. So this has been like a good day for me. It's a very productive day for me as far as content creation. And then tomorrow I'm going to spend the day editing and 
posting. So, um, now I'm leaving. I mean, I'm in Philly, so I am going to, I got a taste for some fried chicken and some french fries. So I think I'm going to go to a crown fried chicken and get something to eat. And then I'm going to take all my stuff in the house, eat, probably take a shower, and then chill for the rest of the night. And so, um, yeah, I'll hit y'all back in a few. Hey, y'all. So where my blog left off, I was coming home last night. Um, so I just kind of want to just make just a little quick video to end the, the whole blog. Um, I came home last night. I came in the house, put my stuff in the house. I ate dinner. I watched Tubi, took a shower and went to sleep. So today is a new day. I got some content editing. I'm trying to get this video put together and uploaded to you guys. Um, and then I have a tutorial that I'm putting out. So I want to get that edited and put out to you guys. So I just wanted to make a video to end this vlog. I really had fun making this vlog. And I'm going to make more day in the life of me. Um, maybe some more like day in the life like as a nail tag. So you guys can come to work with me. And just see my whole day. Like I think that would be dope as well. So just stay tuned for like more content. If you like my content. If you guys like watching me. Just subscribe to my channel. Share it like my videos comment let's get some engagement going so i can get my content pushed that would be so awesome i'm going to put my social media handles in the description box please feel free to follow me um i follow back um and yeah so i will see you guys in the next vlog peace